Today we're in the 8th and the ninth chapter of the book of Ezekiel. But before we consider the themes that we see in those chapters, let me read to you from a New Testament book, the book of Galatians, chapter 6, starting in verse 4. Pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get satisfaction of a job well done, and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone, for we are each responsible for our own conduct. We are each responsible for our own conduct. You see, in Ezekiel 8 and 9, the people of God, the dynamics in this chapter, are all about idolatry and judgment. Individuals giving themselves over to that which always promises what it can never produce and the consequences that come because of that. And today, I think the reflection we should take from God's Word as you're reading through Ezekiel 8 and chapter 9, this verse from Galatians 6, verse 5, we're each responsible for our own conduct. God has given you and I this responsibility by the Spirit of God, with His help, to steward ourselves well. Not, not to give our hearts over to idolatry or any other thing that could never produce what God's Spirit can but allow God to be God in our life, to be the master passion of our desires, our hopes, and our dreams, to be following after Him, giving Him glory, and allowing our lives to be good for others. So today, don't give yourself over to anything that can't produce what it promises. God is always good on His promises. So today, with your heart, with your head, with your hands, live completely for the Lord.